Hey, what up, Brody's Lucky C here, bringing you some more Madden 16 undrafted halfback. Now, in the beginning, I was just showing you guys where I'm at in week 12. We are taking on Jacksonville in this one, and look at that nice pass by Phillip Rivers. So, one thing I want to ask you guys is, since I'm at about 1,200 yards, how many yards do you think j Hill will end up by the end of the season? I'm trying to get 2,000, so let me know what you guys think. And also, it's game day today. Clemson versus Alabama. Let me know in the comment section who you think is going to win. So coming out on second and one in the first quarter. He's trying to secure this first down. Sweeping it to the right. He's trying to do some moves. Juking back in. Putting him on skates. Not getting much though. A pretty good gain. So starting this game off pretty slow. You know, no score yet. So it's still tied 0-0. Faking the handoff. And Phillips throws it in the coverage. And it is intercepted. So almost to the 20-yard line, we get a drive going, and the pass is intercepted. So luckily, our defense holds up, and we do not give up anything. So it's second and 10. Just trying to run it up the middle. And right there, getting a pretty good gain, seven yards on that one. So right now, it is third and three. Just trying to convert to keep this drive alive. So just trying to get out of the pocket, and he's throwing it deep to the left, and the pass is out of bounds, so we do not get that one. So once again, we punt it off and get the ball right back so it's second and right there trying to bust out get a pretty good gain so in the second quarter so right now Jay Hill's just doing his thing doing pretty good on the ground not too bad so coming out on third and inches seven minutes left to go in the second quarter sweeping it to the left trying to get to the outside getting that first down trying to break that tackle but could not do that but almost to the 50 yard line they see right there almost 1200 yards in the season in week 12 so got about Five games left, I believe. Four or five games, so it is possible. But right there, Phillip Rivers throws a second interception, so I don't know how it's possible we can't even keep the ball. And Phillip Rivers keeps wanting to throw it away. So right now, four minutes left to go in the second. And right there is a penalty on that play. So getting a pretty decent game, but we need to get going eight yards back, so it's first and eight. So right there, throwing it. Beautiful catch right there in a tight coverage and another penalty. So it's first and 23 all the way back. Running to the right side, does not get anything, could not even get out of the backfield. I don't know how that guy got loose, but he got straight back there. So it's second and 26 on the one yard line. So just trying to get something positive. And right there, could not get out. So it is a safety on that one. So Jail could not get anything going. So, and they ended up scoring a field goal, so we're down 5-0 to zero in the third quarter, so it was scoreless first half. But right there, he's throwing it deep, and a beautiful catch. Let you guys see the replay on that one. So, finally, getting some positive yards. Phil Rivers doesn't even have 100 yards passing yet, but Floyd with a beautiful catch on that one. I see throwing it deep, just jumping up to get it. Right there, could have been intercepted. So, now it is second and 12, still nothing. Three, uh, five minutes to go in the third quarter. Running up the middle, just trying to stay positive, run north and south. Not trying to do anything fancy since we are down. Just need to secure these first downs. Coming out on third and three. Run to the left. Pretty good block, but the safety gets there in time. So right there gets stopped. So Jay Hill started off positive, not doing so great. So now it is fourth and 12. Our defense holds up. So our defense is doing pretty good, or Jacksonville's offense is really bad. One or the other, maybe a combination of both. So right here on this punt return, going to the left side, trying to force him in and out, getting around one guy, dies to air. But right there, the linebacker tackles me 12 yards away from a touchdown. So almost scored up on that punt return. So right now we're in position to kick a field goal, sweeping it to the right. One big block by the fullback, walking into the end zone. Jay Hill with his first rushing touchdown of the day. Right there, regaining that confidence. Let's see on that play. Sweeping to the right, one guy had a chance with the fullback pick up the safety. But right there, no one can catch that 95 speed. So we are going for the two-point conversion to put us up by three. So they need a field goal to at least tie it. And right there, Phil Rose throws a nice pass. And right there, Keenan Allen gets it. So that puts us up eight to three, and our defense holds up once again. So 30 seconds left to go. Running up the middle. Could have squeezed to the left side. The huge gap right there on the left ball to broke it out. Probably would have got a touchdown. So now it is second and four. Just trying to get something going. Let's run up the middle. Probably should have juked in on that one. Right there getting the first down. So 72 yards in this game. So right now we have the lead. So we're just trying to add on to it. 
So it's coming out on third and 11. Hilvers drops back. Throwing it to the left side. Antonio Gates is wide open. He makes that catch for the touchdown. Right now we are up two scores now. So Phillip Rivers, a beautiful pass to Antonio Gates. Just cutting to the outside. No one can keep up with his route running. So that wide open, even the corner couldn't keep up with them. So now it's 3rd and 10. They ended up scoring. So it's 15 to 12. Five minutes left to go in this game. And right there, he's going to the left side. And right there, Johnson has a nice catch getting to the 41-yard line. So now it is 3rd and 9. Our offense couldn't do anything. So right there, dropping back. And he hits Green, the tight end, with speed. And he squeezes by for a huge 40-yard touchdown. Green speed is like 89. He's the fastest receiver on this team. And right there, a beautiful pass and catch. And even a better run. I see right there, he catches it. And no one's going to catch him. Not even the corners or the safeties. And he scores a touchdown. So it's 22-15 to 15 on first and 16. Running that play action. Antonio Gates to the outside. Once again with that dirty move. And the linebacker's not quick enough to catch him, but he just walks out of bounds on the 49-yard line. Right now, we're just trying to get this drive alive and force them to use all their timeouts. So right here, going up the middle, trying to secure that first down. Almost getting it, so 80 rushing yards on 20 carries. So Jay Hill is doing pretty good in this game. Averaging four yards per carry. Right there to the left side, just trying to secure the first down and not go out of bounds. Keep the clock moving, so they are forced to call a timeout. That's all we have to do is keep getting first down, so they have to keep calling timeouts. So a minute 50 left on the 26-yard line, running to the right side. You can out the corner using that speed, and right there, Jay Hill gets his second rushing touchdown of the day. A huge 26-yard run to put us up after the field goal, 29 to 15. As you see right there, the linebacker and the corners had a chance, but going to the outside using the speed. And right there, diving for air. So that is going to do it. So we get a huge win after going scoreless in the first half, 29 to 22. So let me know in the comment section how many yards you think Jay Hill will get and who will win today, Alabama or Clemson. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you're new. If you haven't already, I forgive you. I'll catch you guys next time. Dope Squad, peace out. Sixteen, a minute and twelve left. Sweeping to the left side, faking in and out, getting that guy on the block, run across the middle, and right there, scoring that touchdown—a huge twenty-five yard run for Jay Hill. Two rushing touchdowns of the day. It's right there, a beautiful run.